People are always fascinated with the unknown, like strange, unexplained phenomena people love. Three people went into the woods and never were seen again. You're like, well, that's been happening for a thousand years. Like, an ex super expensive plane flown by professionals, you know, took off, was never seen again. I think it freaks us out. first start out in the game, it's kind of like, hmm, where am I? I think I might be somewhere in South America. What's going on here? It rapidly progresses to like, oh my god, <laughs> what? Where have I found myself? The basic backstory of Dark Void is you start out the game playing as an everyman cargo pilot named Will. And uh, Will is on a routine cargo mission to London. And on that mission, he has to fly over the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, that doesn't go over very well for him. He ends up crash landing into this parallel dimension known as the Void. The backstory for Dark Void actually has its roots in popular conspiracy theory. <laughs> What's funny is if you actually do some research on it, not a lot of things actually got lost there, but there's this mystery that always surrounds it because it's this unknown thing. I think the Bermuda Triangle is special because it was only really with the advent of what we consider modern technology did it start to really pick up its myths. When you go into the void, you'll, you'll come across all of these elements that have existed on Earth in the past that have gone through these. You'll see like a, a big ship hulk that's embedded in the side of a gigantic mountain because it came flying through from the Bermuda Triangle and then just wrecked against the side of the mountain. We designed the Void specifically around a couple key gameplay elements that we have. Uh, one is uh, vertical cover. We actually kind of redesigned our world to support it. As we evolved the gameplay, you know, we had to change the entire story and, and the world and everything. This is where the concept of the Void came from. It's a place that uh, requires vertical combat. We started with the shooting and the covering and the flight, and Vertical came on board. The concept of the Void in the fiction came as a means to give relevance to the gameplay, and that's how the universe really started to take off. The environments are, are really invented to enhance a sense of vertigo. Big, huge drop-offs, spaces that are fun to fly through. You'll notice when you're looking at the Void that there's uh, a lot of kind of islands that are sticking up out of this weird cloudy uh, nothingness. And we, we tried to keep those spires really long so there's a lot of vertical uh, uh, nature just to the environment in general. We're twisting the concept of space and up and down and everything in it to give you this, this sense of being in somewhere which is quite otherworldly. There is a kind of grim, romantic, fantastic uh, quality to it. It feels dangerous, but at the same time there's kind of this uh, dark beauty to it all. Imagine Earth in its primordial days in the ooze, and then throw that into outer space in a different plane of existence, and you certainly get close to what the void is.